In this lesson, we're going to review when to use the preposition POR and when to use the preposition PARA. So let's begin with the uses of POR. We use POR to indicate a period of time during which an action takes place. It's the equivalent in English of DURING, IN, FOR. Van a estar allí por tres días. They are going to be there for three days. The second use is when we refer to means, manner, or unit of measure. In English, it would be the equivalent of by, for, or pair. For example, vamos por avión, which means we're traveling by airplane. The third rule is when we talk about cause or motive of an action. In English, it would be the equivalent of because of, an account of, or on behalf of. Llegamos tarde por el tráfico, which means we arrive late because of the traffic. When we want to mean in search of, for, or to get. Vengo por ti a las cinco, which means I will come and get you at five. When we want to say in exchange for. Voy a pagar mil dólares por el carro which means I'm going to pay a thousand dollars for the car. Every time we talk about motion or approximate location. Camina por el parque, meaning he or she walks around the park. We use por with an infinitive to refer to an unfinished state or something yet to be finished. Tu trabajo está por hacer, meaning your work is yet to be done. So, por is also used with the passive voice, and it means by. Los empleados son entrevistados por el gerente. The employees are interviewed by the manager. So, now let's take a look at the uses of para. The first one is to indicate destination. Mañana salgo para Bolivia. I'm going to Bolivia tomorrow. We use it with direction in time, often meaning by or for a certain time or date. Necesito el dinero para hoy. I need the money for today. We use para to indicate whom or what something is for. Las carpetas son para Carmen. The folders are for Carmen. To mean in order to. Viene para trabajar, which means he comes in order to work. Comparison, by the standard of or considering. Es muy alta para su edad meaning the woman is tall for her age. To indicate objective or goal. Estudia para ser doctor, meaning the person is studying to become a doctor. Okay, and that's it for today.